Hey friends, today I want to talk about the horse dance and how it can help you to develop more willpower, leg strength and hip mobility. I'm going to show you the proper form of the horse dance, indicators of doing it wrongly and also progressions and the regressions of, for different levels. The monks from the Shaolin temple used the horse dance as a test for people who wanted to study their famous martial art. The horse dance is a perfect test because it's simple and almost anybody can perform it. But maintaining it for a prolonged time does take a lot of willpower. The legends say that applying students had to stand this dance for an hour to be accepted into the Shaolin temple. Even today, some traditional Kung Fu styles accept only students who can hold this horse dance for half an hour. Practicing the horse dance can have many benefits. You can do it practically anywhere and it doesn't take a lot of time depending on how deep you stand. The horse stands work your quads, your glutes, your abductors, AB doctors, your adductors, AD doctors, and the tibialis anterior. <laughs> so it's a very good lower body exercise. And the horse stance is also very beneficial for your hip mobility as well, especially if you're working on your middle split. To get into a horse stance, you need first to find the proper distance to place your feet apart. If you stand too narrow, you won't keep your back straight. If you stand too wide, you struggle to go deep enough. So the easiest way to find your distance is to move your feet at a 45 degrees angle outward by five steps. Now bend your legs while pressing your knees outward until your upper thighs are parallel to the floor. From here on, all you have to do is hold your stance and keep your back straight. It's crucial that you don't have a strong pelvis anterior nor posterior tilt. You want to keep your back neutral just as if you were standing upright. Depending on your hip and ankle mobility, it's almost impossible to keep a neutral back when taking a lower stance. So the way to go about this is either to elevate your heels onto something or maintain a higher horse stance. Additionally, you can work on your hip and ankle mobility by doing squats and ankle stretches for two minutes regularly. Ultimately, you can stand while placing a stick onto your side to check if you are standing deep enough. For how long do you want to stand your horse stance? Two minutes is a good foundation. And if you're able to do it with a stick on your thigh while maintaining a straight back and a neutral spine, great. From here on out, you can explore how much further you can go, what your mind and willpower can achieve. Lastly, I want to share with you some challenges that I like to do with the horse dance. Number one, add some randomness to your exercise. The mind is a cheeky thing. If you set the timer for two minutes and you see that it's on 1.32, you most likely will pull yourself together even though you want to stand up. So a challenge I like to do is to use a random timer. You can find it as an app or um, on, on the web for free. If you, if you Google random timer, I like to set the minimum time a little lower than my baseline and the maximum time I set it to a goal that it's a little bit over out of my reach. And what it does, it sets randomly in an alarm between your minimum time and your maximum time. So before you start, you don't know at what time the alarm will go off. 
The interesting part in this exercise is to reflect on your state of mind while standing the horse stance. Sometimes, sometimes you think you have set a new record but barely made it to your baseline time in reality. Other times you push on longer than usual, breath by breath, all because you don't have this arbitrary number of the two minutes in your head, which is limiting you. You just keep the focus. And challenge number two, stand a seven step horse stance work on your AD doctors. This wide horse stance is more a mobility exercise than a willpower exercise. I personally don't like the word flexibility because it's not always beneficial for you. Let's take the example of, of a split where someone can just jump straight into a split but isn't able to support this hold mid-air, for example, if doing it on chairs. Mobility on the other side refers to an active range of more motion, where one is able to hold this maximum range of motion and support it with strength. That's why I prefer mobility, where an active range of motion is created. In the, in the example of the side split, you would want to support this hold with your adductors so that you're not only flexible but strong as well in this range of motion. It's actually quite comfy here. <laughs> challenge number three, the 30-30 challenge. This is a challenge from Ido Portal that I once did. You try to accumulate 30 minutes of horse stance per day for 30 consecutive days. Every time you stand a horse stance, you start a timer. And then every other time you continue the timer until at the end of the day, you want your timer to be at 30 minutes. This challenge is seriously tough. And if you're just starting out, feel free to adapt the time to five or ten minutes because otherwise this exercise or, or this challenge will crush you and you won't be able to maintain it for 30 days so be also realistic about it lastly challenge number four test your beliefs identity and resolutions by betting on your horse Dance. One of my favorite exercises to stay humble and sharpening my willpower. Mike Tyson once said that everyone has a plan until he gets punched in the face. Similarly, this powerful exercise is like a mirror to your, to your inner self. Instead of just saying I'm this and I'm that, why not just test my resolve? Paradoxically, I always use this exercise when facing an identity crisis where I wasn't sure what my next steps in life would be or where I had a lot of self-doubt. I would start this exercise by saying my intention of how long I want to stand the horse dance and also saying a mantra like, um, I know I'm stuck in life right now but I know that no matter no matter what life throws at me I have enough strength to deal with it while holding this thought in my mind or sometimes saying it out loud I stand my horse stance and gradually feel the burden in my legs increase after this exercise I always feel my resolve burning like a fire in my heart, like the pain, the fire in my legs just converted into spiritual energy, spiritual fire that now resides in my heart. 